Hello everyone, it is Emily, the Tea Cider Dream Teas, and today it's going to kind of be a uh, combined type of video. I am actually going to be storing some photo cards away. I don't know if you can see, we have not the biggest amount, but we do have some to put away. But I'm also going to be filming my updating, my updated photo card collection along with the storing. Just Erica and I have been super busy, of course, with the holidays and school and work. I thought that we would go ahead and combine both of these videos into one. Um, Erica, hopefully, will have hers up around the same time as mine. But let's go ahead and let's get started with it. I do have four binders to go through, so uh, let's go ahead and let's get started with my A5. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and start with my A5 binder, which does house a few groups. It houses BTS and NCT, and the rest of my miscellaneous groups or cards that I do collect, so. I do have something to put away for this as well, but we will wait until we actually get to that page to store it. But yeah, so I won't go into detail about every single card that I have in here because that would be way too much. <laughs> but um, to start off, we do have, oh my goodness, we centered, there we go. So we do have BTS in here to start. Um, I just have this little BT21 keychain there as well. And then we have some of my miscellaneous BTS cards. My bias is Taehyung, however, I do not collect because I'm sure as you all know, BTS is very, very expensive. Um, so it's kind of hard to keep up with all those prices and everything like that. But this Polaroid is actually very special. Um, I actually took this at the Line Friends store when Erica and I went to go see them in um, New York City for the Love Yourself Tour at MetLife Stadium. So I just thought that that would be a cute little addition into my binder. But then you have the Love Yourself series, the two Taehyung cards that I have, and the rest of it. And then we have Tear. And then answer. Then you also have Persona, which absolutely love that Taehyung card. It's so cute. <laughs> and then Map of the Soul 7. I do have B, Yoongi's B photo card on the back of this because I do not have anywhere else to put him, but we will figure that out eventually. But then we have butter. And then we have my spread for, let me see, proof. The um, standard edition. I did pull Jin's photo card for that. Let me see. There we go. It's a little bit better. Then we get into NCT. which I do have double-sided, just to conserve some space. But, yeah, I really have too many biases in NCT. <laughs> I really do, um, but my main bias in all units is Win-Win. I do have him in a separate page in my semi old binder, just because I love him so much, I would consider him one of my top biases, but that is for when we get to win-win. So now we start with my miscellaneous boy group section. So I do have TXT in here. <laughs> my bias is Taehyun. I was gifted most of these. I did pull this one <laughs> and I'm very excited for their comeback and I'm very excited to see what TXT has in store for all of us. So yeah. And then I have Omega X and One Us here. They are so adorable. I love them. 
And then we have a mix of SM, so Baekhyun with his solo albums, Super M, and then one EXO card. Then we have Songwoo of Victim, Chani of SF9, and then Yuto and Hui of Pentagon. I also have Hansel of UNB, Youngjae of GOT7, and Eric from The Boys. Like, this is very, very random. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Then finally, the miscellaneous boy section, or boy group section, we do have Shonu from Monster X, and then Daniel here. This is the freebie that I did have up here before I put Taehyung's Polaroid, but I just needed a spot to fill. <laughs> I needed something to fill that spot, so I thought that Wanho would be a great addition there. So, here we go. And then for my miscellaneous girl groups. To start off, I do have Promise 9 and Luna. Which, frick BBC for what they've done. I, I really won't speak too much on it. I'm just hoping that the girls are okay and that everything ends up working out for them. So, then I also have G Friend here. And then I have Itzy here, and the photo card that I actually have to put away is a Yuna fan sign, I believe, from their Checkmate era. So, Erica was actually sent almost a full set of these cards on accident for one of the chains that she bought which that's awful but oh my goodness that was not even in frame but i do have a yuna to put there now and then i also have yugi from idol and then i have sunmi and jenny just kind of miscellaneous back here so that is actually it for my little a5 binder so now we are going to get into my semi bolt binder. All right. So now I don't even know why I keep calling them my semi old binder. My semi old binder. They're really just groups that I stand in here and that I listen to more actively than the other groups. But um, yeah, this used to be just my entire K-pop photo card collection, but obviously we have grown out of that. <laughs> they, we have way too many photo cards for our own good. So I only have one card to put in here as well, but let's go ahead and let's get into flipping through it. So we start off with Stray Kids. Um, so my biases biases <laughs> i really don't know if i can just pick one but ian and mino or lino are my biases in stray kids um so i mostly have their photo cards but i do have a pretty good mix of the rest of the members so yeah i absolutely love their photo cards and I love the boys, <laughs> so um, yeah, but this is the Christmas Eve pre-order set. I do not have the No Easy one because I did not pre-order No Easy. Erica has those, but if you want to see that, go ahead and check out Erica's video. But as you can see, I have a very exciting photo card. I have Mino's Frankenstein version, which is stunning, beautiful. I love him so much. This is the era that Mino, No Easy, and Ordinary were really, really the eras Mino started getting me good. But he will go right here for now. I more than likely will try to get his A version card since that is actually going to be my uh, concert outfit for when I see them in March. Um, we will see. That card is a little bit harder to find than all of the other ones. I already have all of Jongin's, so yeah. There we go, that is Ordinary. I also do have some of the IDs and the Target cards. 
I also do have a double spread of the unit pieces. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about that glare right there. But there is that. Then I have my Maxident pulls, which love, love. I actually bought these two, but I needed them to complete a heart. So very happy about that. And the backs look so nice too. Yeah, that is actually all of the photo cards that I have for Stray Kids. Erica definitely has a lot more Stray Kids photo cards than I do because they are probably her old boy group. So yeah, she, her bias is Changbin. She loves Changbin. So if you want to see some more Stray Kids cards, go watch her video. But next, I have Seventeen, <laughs> who I love and adore so, so much. My biases in 17, again, biases. <laughs> My main one is DK, but Mingyu and Dino also are my biases. And it's nice because they are all in a uh, different units. So I have a bias in each unit, so I'm not complaining. But we start off with an Ode and then go into Your Choice and Attacka, which I took this DK card to the concert that I went to in Atlanta in August and oh my goodness I am so in love with it but here we go then we get into face the sun and then the face the sun carrot versions which starts actually with woozy right here but this paint concept is so, so cute. I love this Wanu card so much. He's adorable. And he looks great with the blondish white hair. So, is that. And then I also do have some Sector 17 as well. So. Then, as most of my carrot friends know, or as most of my carrots know, the carrot versions come with lots and lots of photo cards. I was a clown and bought all three because I loved this paint concept so much. So these are all of the photo cards that come in each respective member's carrot version. And then this one has the units and everything like that that goes along with them. So, yeah. I probably should put those back to back to try and conserve space in this binder. But, um, I just love the way that a nine pocket looks of the same backs. So, uh, yeah. That's why they are not back to back. But, yeah. That is all that I have for 17. Next, I have Dreamcatcher here. Um... I love me some drink catcher, <laughs> but um, I keep plugging Erica's video. I keep telling y'all to go watch it, but she is a drink catcher alt, and she very, very thoroughly collects Gahya. So if you guys wanted to see her drink catcher collection, obviously go take a look at her video. It's much more thorough than mine is, but nonetheless, I do love them as well. So. Yeah, this is actually their last year's Season's Greetings pre-order cards, I believe. I will have to double check with Erica, but I do have those up front. And then we start with Rate of Dream, going into Tree of Language, and Dystopia Lose Myself? Yes, Dystopia Lose Myself starts right here with Yu Hyun. And then, oh my gosh, what is Odd Eye from? <laughs> Road to Utopia. That's what it is. I don't know album versions or album names for Dreamcatcher as well as Erica does, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> I just love Yuhyun with these space buns. I also can't pick a bias in this group. <laughs> it's always between Jiu and Yuhyun, but I absolutely love and adore Sua and Shiyun. But, um,. I just love them so, so much <laughs> that I really can't just pick one. 
but this is also a pre-order benefit from Summer Holiday, which are pretty much these seven cards right here. And then this GU card is my absolute favorite card, like ever. Just the cherries and everything. She looks so, so good. I love this card so much. But this is from Apocalypse Save Us. Yes, this is Apocalypse Save Us. But yeah, and then we get into the New Era, which beautiful photo cards. I love this Handong card a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that is actually all that I have for Dreamcatcher. And as you can see, I do have Chang'e here as well. Erica has a lot of Chang'e photo cards as well. So, but I love her so much. Her music is so good. Y'all should go support. <laughs> but that is all that I have for those two. Next, we get into my twice section. Um, as you can see, <laughs> Jihyo is my bias. <laughs> she is probably one of my top girl biases in K-pop. Um, I love and adore her so, so much. But yeah, so we have a huge mix of Jihyo photo cards right here. Summer Nights, that photo card is one of my absolute favorites ever. I love Summer Nights. She looks so great in all of her photo cards. But yeah, so we will go on next to Fancy and Feel Special, which, oh, I just love Jihyo's photo cards so much. If I could collect her, I would. However, my two ults are too expensive. <laughs> I love Twice so much, and they just have a lot of photo cards. But, yeah. I have my favorite Jihyo photo cards, and that's really all that I care about. But, I love all the girls. But, yeah. Just, sometimes we all have priorities. <laughs> but, yeah. So now, with this, we get into more and more. And then, Eyes Wide Open which this momo card i am so glad i pulled it <laughs> she is so adorable and her dog is so cute but then we have pretty much an entire jihyo page <laughs> her with her red hair was absolutely wonderful a sleigh <laughs> but um yeah and then we get into taste of love And I bought a lot of albums for Taste of Love, so I have a lot of photo cards. So. Then I have one Formula of Love card and between one and two here, which, oh my goodness. Thank you, my friend Emma, <laughs> for trading with me for that Jihyo card because... I love it so much, and the plushie set is so freaking hard, I feel like, to collect. But, yeah, so, we also have more room to grow for whenever Twice decides to release another comeback. Then we also have some special cards, mostly Jihyo. I really had nowhere else to put this nigh on, so I just put the two of them together, but... I have two of Jihyo's monograph cards and then some of her pre-order cards. These three being from Taste of Love and this one being from More and More. And then I also have the rest of the girls in the group card on one nine pocket. So yeah. So that is it for my twice section and then for this last little bit we kind of have my boy groups that i have in my some of them that i have in my mini a5 binders that don't fit into the mini a5 binder so like i moved the bts or the season's greetings ids i left them in here just because i thought they looked really good this way um yeah but there is the 2019 Seasons Greetings ID and Sticky Notes. Then I also have the Lightstick version 3 mini photo cards. I also do have this random Taehyung tour. I believe it's Map of the Soul. Is it Map of the Soul? Yes, it's the Map of the Soul tour. So, 
I just thought that looked nice in there, so I put that in there. Oh my gosh, and then I also have their B photo cards that came in the deluxe and the standard versions. I know that this came, I believe, is it called the deluxe version? I don't remember exactly, but these are from both B albums. <laughs> and then as you can see, I do have a little win-win page. Like I said, win-win probably is one of my top male biases. But um, SM just releases a lot of content. <laughs> and Win-Win has also not been as active in most groups, I feel like. Because obviously he is not in 127 anymore. And Wavy really hasn't had a comeback until Phantom. Which comes out today at the filming of this video. And I'm very excited for it. This probably will get updated because Win-Win looks wonderful. But uh, yeah. So this is just what I have laid out for Win Win. And then I also have a spread of the Dreamies here. This is their, I believe their 2020 season's greetings. Um, yeah, um, the Dreamies were my old group at one, or one of my old groups at one point. But um, like I said, SM just has been releasing way too much merch and um, I also found my two other groups, my two old groups as of right now, so uh, they take most of my funds. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the Polaroid set that you get. Then I also have Astro here. Just kind of like a mix of Astro cards. This album is stunning. I love them so, so much. Um, Sana and Moonbin are my biases, and I did pull these two cards, which is static. I was ecstatic about but yeah so and then these are two pobs from their all yours album i believe that they're apple music but i will leave it down somewhere but then these are the album cards for all yours and then i have ace here as well which higher was one of my absolute favorite songs that was released that year. Oh gosh, I don't even know what year this was released, Siren Dawn, but it's such a good song and they are such a talented group of boys. If you guys do not listen to Ace, I definitely recommend giving them a listen. They are so good and so talented, but they also I believe most of them are in the military now. I know that June is. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of them, but we are patiently waiting for their return. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought that they would look really good in this binder. So, And that's actually all. Oh, I also have this group card from um, Changer. But... That is actually all that I have for this binder. Here we just have like random stickers and stuff like that. I don't really like to use the stickers unless I have multiple things of the stickers. But um, yeah, so that is actually it for my uh, Stan binder. Is that what I need to call it? I don't know what I want to call it. You guys let me know down in the comments what I should call this binder. Because I don't want to call it miscellaneous, but I also don't want to call it my semi-olds. Because what even is a semi-old? <laughs> but yeah, so that is actually it for this binder. Let's go ahead and get into my two bigger, bigger collections. Alright, so we are going to actually start with this big guy. Um, this is my 80s collection. Um, they are my old adults. Um, I absolutely love and adore them so much. Um, I actually recently, if you guys have been watching the channel for a little bit, um, I once was collecting both Songha and Yoonho, but I decided to drop Yoonho because AT's just decided to start dropping way too much merch, fan signs, all kinds of stuff, and... We'll get into that more when we get in further into my binders, but um, that did not stay true for very long because 
as you guys will be able to see, I decided to pick Yunho back up. <laughs> I know, it's it's clown behavior. When when is Emily not a clown? But um ooh, I guess I should say what is in these pockets as well. Um this is one of the oh my goodness, that is so damaged. It's okay, but um this is one of the postcards from the Fever Part 2 merch drop, which love to death. And then I also have his name tag here with his and his fan kit sticker. But um, yeah, so that just lives here because I could put him in my bigger inclusions binder, but um, I decided against that. They're very thick. I don't know. If you, can, if you guys can hear that well, but um, they are very thick postcards. <laughs> and my bigger inclusions binder for AT and, and hyphen are way too big. But um, yeah, so we start off with this very cute AT's photo card holder, which let me, actually, I do just have a dupe song hole on here, but um, this is a very sturdy photo card holder. I do, um, I did take this to the second AT's concert that I went to in November, and um, it held up really, really well. So I, if it is still on their store, I will link it down below. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and uh, let's flip through my AT's binder. <laughs> but um, so as you can see, I do have my Yuno Songhua set up. Um, I did go back to my original way of setting them up. So we have EP1, 2, and EP3, both wave and illusion, and then you know kind of mirrors that. So yeah, that's kind of how most of the beginning eras were set up. Um, then I also have, um, I really wanted this Yunho photo card in the middle, so I decided to put Yunho in the correct order. So it would be EP Finn version A and Z, and then the special, the anniversary editions of them, and then Songhua is mirroring that as well. So yeah, there we go. And then I have action to answer here. This page does look pretty empty. Um, <laughs> But I do have both of Songhua's MMTs and was possibly thinking about getting Yunho's as well. However, I cannot find them. <laughs> so um, this page may have to stay the way it is for the time being. But um, yeah, I thought that looks really good. So then we have Fever Part 1, which love this. This really was the era that made ATs my ults. Inception is one of my absolute favorite songs. Um, literally probably still in my top 10 in all of K-pop. <laughs> I love it so much, but um, yeah. So there is um, EP1 or Fever, Fever Part 1. Oh my goodness. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. But then we have Fever Part 2, which we have the spreads for. So it is a Diary and Z version, and then Yunho Mirrors going that way. And this is actually when I decided to stop collecting Yunho because that's 18 cards per member. It, it's a lot. And Songhua is a very hard member, in my opinion, to collect. But, um,. As you will be able to see, I did set up for Yunho's sections and everything like that. This collection is going to be very, very, very slow. When I find good prices for Yunho, I will pick some of his cards up, but it is going to be very, very slow. But I do have Songhua's album cards pretty much completed. I know that they're getting ready to have a comeback in the next few days, and... <laughs> I don't know how they did it. They are, they've literally been on tour almost all year. Like, when, where did this come from? Like, how, they've been busy all year. How did they do this? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that is actually Fever Part 3. Then we have Fever Epilogue, 
which so far is complete for. I only have one Uno card because that's <laughs> the one Uno I pulled. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But next page we have the world, which is actually where we have the photo cards to put away. Erica for Christmas ended up getting me Yuno's entire world photo card set. <laughs> um, she knew how badly bias wrecked I was at the 80s concert in November. She knew. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to store Yuno away. But yeah, that is my spread for the world, and oh my gosh, those look wonderful. I so love having the double spread of them. I'm kind of upset that this new album only has four, or has four per member now, instead of the three, because um, it kind of messes up the flow that my binders go in, but you know what? It's okay we will figure it out <laughs> and then I also have his IDs right here and they are going to mirror some laws as well and then these two cards are actually their digipack cards I pulled you know or um, yeah, I pulled Yuno know, in one of the digipacks that I bought. I'm pretty sure I pulled him in Songhua's digipack. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that that's always fun. So, um, that was kind of like a sign from the K-pop gods that was like, Hey, it's time to collect Yuno know, again. But, um, oh my gosh, look at the backs. They are gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, so pretty. But, yeah, so that is my, um, album collection. Um... As you can see, I have set up for from the witness. Uh, I do have the A and B set up, and then I do have their limited cards on the back of that page. So it'll be a eight pocket spread for both. I'm hoping that looks okay. We probably have to wait to see more of the cards to see how that will work, but um, that is just what we're going with right now. So yeah. I also did move Songhua's Japanese cards up towards the album section. Um, I do not collect Yuno for Japanese albums either. Um, just just Songhua. <laughs> He's already expensive enough as it is. But um, I do have his EP Finn and then the Shift the Map and what is that called? Map to Answer. There we go. The Map to Answer cards right there. I also do have dreamers right here and then into the A to Z. Oh my gosh, these names, I can't do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have all of those. I also have this, you know, on the back from dreamers. He's just too beautiful. I had to have it. Um, but I have set up for Rocky and Paradigm. However, I'm only going to collect three cards for Songhua. Just, they have been releasing so much content recently. It's kind of insane. I really can't keep up. <laughs> but, um, slowly but surely, we will try and fill this page up. So, yeah. Then, we get into my Sunghua non-album and special inclusions. Um, Sunghua is one of my ults. I do absolutely love and adore him. This is new. Um... Pink Hair Tongue Law is one of my absolute favorites, like, ever. Like, I adore him so much with pink hair. Um, so, I put his pink hair in section in the front of this binder. These two are freebies. I would love to get the actual cards for these, especially this one. The one with him and the cat ears. Hollow pink hair Tongue Law. Ugh. It's one of my dream cards. But, um, it is way too expensive. I cannot find it anywhere for cheap or anything like that. So, for now, these freebies will just have to do. 
So, yeah. Then we actually get into my uh, not album things. Um, usually, on like this, I do store it in chronological order. So we start with EP3, and then go into EP Finn and Answer. Then we get into FIFA Part One. And then this is their second anniversary photo cards and their season's greetings cards right here. And then we get into Fever Part 2, where they started going absolutely insane. <laughs> but I do have this, you know, Songhua unit. I know that there was another one for movement, and they both look fantastic in it. It is a hollow card and I would love to own it, but as I've said with many, many cases, it's very expensive. <laughs> so um, that definitely will be an investment if I do get it, or I will just wait till I can find it for a decent price. But yeah, so if you guys have any questions on where any of these cards are from or anything like that, just leave a time and comment down in our comment section and I will be more than happy to answer that. That may be easier than me trying to explain every card, but um, yeah. And just let me know like a description of where the card is on the page. That'll make it a little bit easier for me, but yeah. And then this is kind of, FIFA Part 3 is kind of the era where I really started slowing down on my non-album Sunwalk collection. They released so many probs and so many fan signs for FIFA Part 3 that I just got so burnt out. So I took a break and I haven't really picked up on my Sunwalk non-album collection since then. Um, so we are very bare. But I do have these few cards from... The world movement and we will see about these new ones for from the witness but as for now i'm very content with my song collection so then we also get into bigger postcards here so And also, all of our supplies are linked down in our card. Um, if you guys were interested in knowing where we get most of our products and things like that, like our pages, our binders, and everything else like that, they are in our card. So that will be in the description. Then we get into my, the rest of the members' um, photo cards. As you guys will be able to see, um, I do not have a lot of Yosong in here, but that is because Erica has a new collection. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I gave her all of my Yosong cards that I did have. It wasn't very many to begin with, but um, I did give her some of my Yosong cards to help with her collection. So, yeah, to start off, we do have the... Um, the first light teeny case PC set. And we also have album cards here from a variety of mini <laughs> albums. So. Yeah. Then we get into my non-album ATs cards, which I do have Yunho's pops back here. I did think about moving Yunho up more towards my the back of my Songhua non-album section but I thought that he fit back here better and um, this card the way that I love and adore this card with my entire soul like please Peachy Yunho is my favorite I love and adore him so so much but yeah actually funny you know was my original 80s bias before Songhua was my bias so that's why I made the decision to collect both you know and Songhua 
but as I said before, ATs, oh my goodness, song, ATs just started releasing a lot of photo cards and I could not keep up, but yeah. Oh my goodness, he's not even in frame anymore. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then I also do have these, um, the hidden map photo cards. I did not decide, or I was going to collect Songhaw's set, but a lot of people are overpricing these cards, and these cards are very flimsy, very freebie feeling to me. Um, also, they can very easily get messed up because they are that metallic kind of I don't even know how to explain it, but like fingerprints are so easy to get on these things. So I just decided that I was going to put them in a page in the back and leave it at that. I did pull two of some walls, <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. I also, when Wu Young was Erica's bias, I did pull him and I gave her Wu Young. So there's that. That is why there is a silver one missing. <laughs> But I also do have their season's greetings for 2023 ordered. I just have not received it in the mail yet. So um, that will be in our January sorting video, more than likely. So yeah. Then I also have some bigger inclusions for ATs as well. Oh my goodness. And then these are their postcards from the fellowship tour which Erica and I were lucky enough to go to both the Fellowship and the Break the Wall Tour in Atlanta. So, was very blessed with that. I was not able to secure any of the merch for this new tour. Just, I had no money. <laughs> and we got there super late. <laughs> so, it's fine. I'm not really concerned about it. But... And these are the hidden treasure photo books. Postcards. <laughs> there we go. And then the group cards that they used to give out in the older albums of two EP Finn, which is right here. And the message cards, which they gave until answer. <laughs> so, yeah. And then extra stickers and freebies and an extra Songhua diary card. But yeah, that is actually all for my 80s binder. Um, very proud of that collection, and I'm very happy to see what the boys have in store for us for this new album. However, um, I really would like if they would take a break. <laughs> they definitely deserve rest. They've been working hard all year. So, yes, and we will go ahead and get into the final binder. All right, now the final binder that we have here, as you all can see, is my in hyphen binder. I did change the cover of it. I knew that I wanted to do Border Carnival, the up concept for it, and I did finally get another version or another album when I went to see it at ATs in Atlanta. So I ended up doing this with one of my friends. Um, and I thought it looked really good. So we will go ahead and, oh, I actually, I don't know if I have enough room to show you this, but I got this Heezoom as a freebie from somebody that I purchased some cards from. So I put him here. So now you guys know I collect Heezoom. <laughs> he is, he is one of my ults as well. Someone, Heezoom are my ults. So, um, yeah, we can go ahead and get into my binder here. So, in these side pockets, I do have this extra Hizum that I did pull in Sadame. I also have this hollow on the back. I also, <laughs> I also pulled this Hizum as well. I, he's been blessed. That's what I am for this era. Watch, they're going to release a comeback and I will not be he's been blessed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just have him sitting there. 
I also have this confetti, which I did pick up when I did see them on their tour here in Atlanta for the Manifesto tour, which love and adore. They were so good. Probably one of my, I only went to a few concerts and I loved all of my concerts, but in hyphen definitely were the ones that, uh, oh, I just love them so much. <laughs> But, um, then I have this, I don't even know, it has, like, this sticky part, so I'm guessing you could stick it on, like, a binder and have it be, like, a divider or something like that. I'm not sure, but this was from their last season's greetings. So, yeah. And I am so sorry about the lighting. I like to film with natural light as much as I possibly can, and it looks like it's starting to get dark. The sun is starting to set. There may be a little bit of a glare on the sheet. Maybe not. Okay, cool. So we start with Border Bay 1, of course. I do have all six of his album photo cards. My museum collection has definitely grown since I first started this channel. I did go back and watch our original binder collections, our binder tours, and um, wow. Um, <laughs> and Hyphen has put out a lot of content and everything like that, of course. But um, I had none of these cards when I first started this channel, but yeah, so there is his Border Day 1 set with his postcards. Then I have Border Carnival here. I also do have Hawk and I complete, at least for me right now. I have debated if I want to collect the Weavers Japan and the UMS photo cards. I do have both of them liked on Mercari. Um, I have been thinking about expanding my Hizun collection, but um, obviously with the holiday season and everything like that, I've been spending a lot more money and I've been trying to save, but um, I definitely would like to expand my Hizun collection. A little bit more so yeah that is that i do have his dimension dilemma set complete you guys know i rant and rant about it but charybdis he's whom is my absolute favorite we love and adore him very much i i love all of these cards don't get me wrong but this hoodie there is something about that hoodie <laughs> but then we have Dimension Answer with his target card in the middle just because I thought it fit better here than having the four pocket. So there is that. I also do have Dimension Spark here where we get into pink haired Hizun. As you guys can tell, I love my pink haired idols. <laughs> I love and adore them so, so much. And my ults with pink hair are everything to me they are everything i also did take this photo card to my in hyphen concert which i will leave a picture probably somewhere here like but oh i just i love that photo card so so much like it's beautiful but next we get into manifesto day one where I have all of his photo cards in standard and engine. I also do have his Weverse versions of the cards or Weverse album cards. <laughs> so yeah. And then I also do have his postcards and his message card or scratch card because he did have to scratch that off, but yeah. Then I have their newest Japanese album complete. This is a little different from when I did store it originally because the backs really bothered me. As you can see, these cards are a different color than the two standard cards. So I decided to put the two standards in the middle and then did the limiteds here, the Weavers Japan and the UMS in the middle and then his solo jacket cards on these sides. So, yeah. 
And that is all for the album cards. Now I have the non-album painting binder, which I have something very, very, very exciting to put away. I never thought that I was going to get this one card in particular. I was able to secure his two Border Carnival Lucky Draws, and I wanted his last one, but it was probably the hardest one to find for me. And it's also the one that I based my concert outfit on, but I actually was able to find him for a really, really good price. And that is the Border Carnival Into You Lucky Draw. So, oh my goodness, he is sliding out like nobody's business, but here he is, all of his, in all his glory. Oh my gosh. So, finally, I have had this card for so long. I got him right after I filmed my November sorting video. But there he is. Oh my goodness. So... I am done with the Lucky Draws for Boro Carnival, which I am very, very excited about. At least the ones that I wanted to collect. I love his selfie cards. But, um, yeah. So, there is that page. Like I said in the AT's binder, if you guys have any questions on what card is which or where it's from, what store... Or anything like that just leave a timestamp and spot on the page in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer that for you guys so there's that I also do have his neighbor palm which is hollow it's a very hard hollow to see but yeah so I do have that one to put away on this page I am going to tell you right now that this is the photo card that made me start collecting. <laughs> like literally, this photo card is stunning and I love it so much. He looks fantastic. So, um, yeah. So that is the reason why I have the collection I do today. <laughs> but there is that. And then I also do have his anniversary, their second anniversary stuff secured and goes. So I'm um, very excited to receive those eventually. And I'm very excited to see what the boys have in store to put out for us next. So, yeah. I do also have his DeFesta mini photo book or mini binder on the way. However, it did not arrive in enough time for this video, so I thought that I would wait and store that in my January haul, or probably in its own separate video, just because if you guys don't know, these photo books come with a hundred something photo cards of like all the members, and that's a lot. So, um, yeah. These I probably will keep to store in my January, but I may end up making a video for the mini one. If you guys would like to see that, please leave that down in the comments. So, yeah. And finally, for my special Hizum non-album card section. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. I finally have his bracelet photo card. If you guys watched my unboxing for his birthday merch that I purchased, I did not get this originally. <laughs> but um, I do wear his bracelet every day and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell on camera or anything like that, but it is starting to change color. That's how much I wear it. Like I love this thing to death. So I ended up getting another one for a keepsake, and that one actually did come with the photo card. So, um, yeah, finally, the birthday card, the birthday merch set is done. 
we have it covered <laughs> and it looks great so yeah and the backs look wonderful too so and then um i guess i should talk about goals and things like that that i have for the year of 2023 let me see hold on my brain is so scattered i will find it later but I do have some goals in 2023 that I would like to complete. Obviously, like I said before, I would like to um, start collecting more stuff for Hizum. So I thought that one of the best ways to start would be his concert photo cards. So like the InConnect and the InConnect companion cards, I thought would be a very good start. And I do like that B-Lift does them in normal photo card sizes except there's 11 cards <laughs> that kind of makes me angry but um they are regular photo card sized so that definitely definitely makes things a lot easier because if they were like txt or bts where they had the mini photo card sized photo cards i do not know if i would be able to collect those but yeah so goal for 2023 emily is completing his in connect and his in connect companion photo card sets as you can see i already have his manifesto cards completed so that is exciting his two special cards are on the outside and then all the rest are right there And then I also have some bigger inclusions for him. So, have his two lenties. I don't know how well you can see that. That one. Let me see. I don't know how well you can see that one. There we go. Can you see that okay? I sure hope so. But, yeah. Then we also have his DeFesta postcards. Which I know that one probably should be on top, but I really, really like the way that that looks. So that one's probably my favorite postcard that I received. So that's why he is sideways like that. And I also have this one. It's so cute. I, ugh, I love him so much. But I also have his birthday acrylic stand and keychain little postcards really the only thing that would fit in a four pocket <laughs> but um yeah so there's that and that is actually all that i have for my heating stuff so next we get into the group which i actually do have some stuff to store away for them as well so we start off with my um pulls for when i did pre-order the manifesto albums I did get one of the sets of two, and I did pull this set, which I am very excited about. Like, I was so, so happy about this, because these three cards, well, make it four. All of them. All of them look fantastic. <laughs> but I was the most excited about these three. Four. Oh my god. Four. So, yeah. Then we also have the Weaver's album cards that came with every Weaver's album. So there are those just as placeholders. Then we get into Border Day 1 and Border Carnival, which, oh my gosh, Jay is such a big bias wrecker. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah. Then we have Dimension Dilemma. Which then falls into Dimension Answer. Which, are we going to talk about this Jongwon card? <laughs> I am so glad that my best friend Erin is a Jongwon magnet. Because <laughs> she pulls Jongwon all the time. And you know what? I needed that card. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we get into their Japanese album. Dimension Spark. And then my manifesto pulls. I 
I did have these at one point in a spread, very much like my Yuno Sunwa spreads, but um, I ended up buying that second Border Carnival album, so I had to kind of mess around and get everything to fit there. So um, yeah, that is why they are no longer in my, uh, my pocket spread. But as you can see, I do have some... I did purchase some extra Sadame albums, obviously. I pulled two Do Pijuns. I don't know if I'm going to trade them yet. I may just end up putting one of them in here. I may just end up putting that one right there. <laughs> just because. But um, I did pull two Jade cards. <laughs> and he looked so cute. Literally all the jokes of him looking like Jake from Subway Surfers. It's true. <laughs> It's true. He does. But you know what? It's okay. It's fine. We love him all the same. So, yeah. He, for now, is just going to go here and here. I will make a decision. I would really like to have a photo card of Jay in his headband. <laughs> because I think he looks wonderful that way. But, um, for now... We are going to keep it this way. So, because I may end up putting him in a photo card holder. We'll see. But um, yeah, so then I have a group page of non album. So, love that. These are so pretty. I love this page actually, and I'm very excited to continue this page. I would like to do this with the album photo cards as well. However, um, I don't think they have them for Dimension Answer or Manifesto. I do not believe they do. So I could just put those, but then that kind of ruins the album, non album. But it's okay. We will figure something out. Then I have my non album other member sets. Um, I'm still trying to find a trade for Hisung's card. It is up on our Instagram, which I will link below. So, yeah. And then we have some OT7 sets back here, which I thought was very fitting for the in hyphen binder at the very end of it. But this is kind of their pamphlet things from Dimension Dilemma. They're kind of, they're almost like character cards if you think about it. But I just, I have so many of these that I decided to cut these up. <laughs> but yeah. So, there's that. I guess I really should put these in order. So I should technically put these guys first. But, you know what? It's fine. These are their light stick cards. <laughs> which is so cute. They look like such babies in these. But I love it. I'm here for it. So, yeah. Then I have their season's greetings from last year. With Heezoom's random ID. So... Then I have their second Gugu package photo cards. And then as you can see, I have set up for their season's greetings, which I actually do have. <laughs> so um, this is the digi code that comes with it. I did cover it with some washi tape, even though I've already used it, but you know, that's okay. So. We're just going to go ahead and put that there. But it does come with a photo card set. It's an OT7 set. And then there is a group card. So this is Jung Wan's. Pretty much all the backs look the same. Except each member is checked off with the corresponding member that it has on the front. So it's Jung Wan's. He looks so soft. And him with the teddy bear... Please, I love him so much. <laughs> so then we have Jay. We have Jake. And we have Sungun. My power puff girls line. <laughs> I love them so much. We have Sanu. He is so freaking adorable. And we have Nikki. He's grown up so well. And then we have the group card here. 
which has this on the back. Oh my gosh, that wasn't even straight. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get these guys stored away. Oh my goodness, Jay. that and as you can see back here I have set up for their mini photo book sets um, there are 14 pages in here there is a lot going on like do we see this like this is ridiculous but um, and hyphens got released a little bit later than some of the other groups like BTS 17 and stray kids and stuff like that so um, Hopefully you will see those soon, either in a video of its own or a, um, our January sorting video. So yeah, but I actually want to end on this page because it is so freaking adorable. I love them so much. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are wondering about my figure inclusions binders, um, they're kind of a mess, <laughs> actually, and I don't really like showing my bigger inclusions on camera, but um, if you guys were interested in seeing that, please leave comments down below. I'll be more than happy to film that if you guys are very, really, really interested in it. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys have had a wonderful end of 2022, and I am hoping the best for the year of 2023 for you all. Um, we really appreciate the love and support that everyone has been bringing us. Um, and yeah, that is going to be it for the video. You guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.